salute, salute, salute one time to God, the most high creator of everything, you know, salute to all the independent viewers, salute to those who are just stoning across the platform, you know, as you come in, wipe your feet on the welcome mat, hit that thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, you know, touching that subscribe button, you know, that wouldn't be such a bad thing either. Trolls! Yeah, ain't nothing changed. Only God and your mama and maybe the UPS man can love you. All right? And uh, last but not least, last but not least, certainly last but not least. <clears throat> Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah, I say one time for the Uncut Squad, baby. One time for the Gifted Family. One time for Big Bro's Corner. One time for Big Bro's Backup. One time for God, the real MVP, the Savior, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And two salutes to the Most High. All right, here we go. Here we go. I want to give hip... No disrespect, sister, but from the way you spell your name, I don't know if that's Monique or Monique. So, Henry and Monique or possibly Monique, all right, on YouTube. That's Henry and M-O-N-I-C, all right? But salute to that sister. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to tell your name up. Okay, I don't want to tell your name up. I get offended when people tell my name up. Speaking of tearing something up, we're about to get into this story, y'all. This story right here, you know, we're going to be all inclusive. We're going to talk about every church, not just the black church. We're going to talk about the KKK meeting that took place in a church rather than a big old barnyard somewhere five miles off of like 20 acres of land with a big old maybe 12 foot burning cross with six foot of flames, you know, jumping off of it and men in white caps and stuff, you know, doing a little salute thing, they do whatever they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except they had it in a church. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me know what you think. Don you... Reagan of the Happy Valley Church of Jesus Christ in Tennessee just got voted the most racist pastor in America. And as you're about to see, that is well deserved. It's a pitiful thing. Not holy, not wonderful, and everybody should do it. Amen. Well, what is he talking about? Friends, it's worldly. What is he talking about? Is he talking about homosexuality? Is he talking about power bottom, Jake's? Is he talking about William Murphy? You know, is he talking about Pastor, you know, Jamal Bryant? What is he talking about? Let's find out, because he seems pretty angry. Wait, he was voted the most racist. Did a black person move in his neighborhood? Let's see. Why is it so many black basketball stars, black football stars, black baseball stars? Want a white wife? Why? Tell me why. Lord have mercy. You ain't scared. Say it. It's another defiance of God's law. It <clears throat> is a worldly way. And then it creeps over into the message. Tell me what's the difference. Did y'all know it's a defiance of God's law? Really? Can somebody please show me that in the Bible? Can somebody please show me that in the Bible? It's the defiance of God's law when he made all of us and he put all of us in this world together. Okay, okay. Hey, let's hear what this pastor has to say. He didn't have to work hard to be the most racist, did he? Let's back it up a little bit. Let's go. It is a worldly way. A worldly way. Tell me what's the difference in preaching against bob hair, painted face, shorts, and all this, that, and other being worldly. And we let this worldly... 
He said, tell him what's the difference. He said, tell him what's the difference. So he missed that verse that talked about let it not be the putting on a fine apparel, the braiding up the hair, the adorning of gold. You know, did he miss that? He a pastor. He don't know that verse? Oh, they don't teach that in the KKK church, huh? They don't teach. Now y'all see why I say this meeting should have took place in a barn with at least a 12-foot wooden cross with at least six foot of flames, but, you know what I'm saying, bursting up off of it. You know, I, they supposed to be like shooting shotguns out there in the woods or something, man. With they, they mask on, the Grand Wizard is supposed to walk out of cloud of smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Grand Wizard is supposed to walk out of cloud of smoke. Like they're going to do in the Super Bowl tomorrow. They'll be running through. Yeah. He supposed to have made a grand entrance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get it. I get it. Let's see. It means come right in. And we're afraid to say one thing about it. And let me tell you right up front. Any of you young people, <clears throat> you want to marry a black man, you girls, don't ask me to do it. Because I will not. Mm. I refuse. I cannot do it with a conscience toward God and look these quotes in the face. Ooh, what quotes? What quotes? Yo, let's run that back. What quotes? What quotes? Can somebody find those quotes in the Bible, please? The sad part is, I used to believe garbage like this. This is how I know God is good. You know, I always judge people by content of character, but I always thought the whole interracial thing just wasn't a thing and i had those thoughts due to slavery and you know living in the south and the racism you experience but you know what when you experience god when you know that we're all god's children when you know that god created all of us and said that he should scatter us about and we should speak many many different languages you know to know that he's the creator. We're his children. Why? We bleed the same. I'm interested to know what he meant by look these scriptures in the face. You know, when God changes you, he renews you in the spirit. And you don't look at things the same. This pastor... Is not in the spirit. This pastor has no anointing. This pastor is still of the world. He's angry. He's angry. And now I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out the bag. I don't know this to be true. I'm speculating. But really, they only act like this when it's their daughters or their granddaughters that's dating outside of their race. And I'm just going to say maybe it's a black guy because he's seen the target black athletes and black people. And he's seen the target white women. Newsflash, we're all human. Newsflash, you know, God didn't create hate. God created love. It's his number one rule. So this pastor is on his way to hell. And the rest of his clansmen congregation, well, they'll be there to blow smoke for him so he can run through the smoke when he make his grand entrance into hell. In a pulpit. In a pulpit. I don't even know his name. And if I did know his name, I wouldn't call it here. Because I'm not going to give him his few seconds of fame. He's already got a viral video that speaks volumes, you know. So, with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, God is good. And God created us all. He created us all. You know. This mindset right here is what causes separation. This mindset right here is divide and conquer. This mindset right here is satanic. This mindset right here is dangerous. This mindset right here is everything but of God and God's doctrine. God's number one rule is love. Has nothing to do with race, color, culture, creed, beliefs, none of that. Love. Seems that this pastor is yet to learn that. With that being said, <clears throat> the link would be in the description box. Y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one.
Get y'all one on one with your higher power, the G-O-D, the most high, the most forgiving God, the, the creator of everything and everyone. See, we're got, we've got to be renewed in the spirit. We've got to be renewed in the heart. We've got to be reformed. We've got to stand on God's word. Once you learn God's law, it's important every day to effort to exercise God's law. Once you know the law, exercise the law. Because if you know the law and you still choose to do wrong, just like these pastors, you will get punished worse for your transgressions. That's in the Bible. Trust me. All right. Y'all, stay prayed up, stay meditated up, stay protected, stay blessed up, stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, be you, and don't get caught coming from this pastor's church. You might lose everything you ever worked for. Ah, shave.